Hey guys, so people like these unboxing videos in all sorts of genres. So here we go. This is my first music one. So today we are looking at Windy City uh, Brass Bottom Bass Trombone Straight Me. Now you're asking, why did I buy a straight me? Well, I usually play on the Wallace straight. This is a great mute. I really like this mute. The issue is, um, a lot of places don't really sell this anymore. And during my move-in times, I think I was moving from Gainesville, Orlando. I had I left this in the car one time, and one of these corks melted off. You can see one of the corks is not like the other. I couldn't find the original cork. I. I feel like I've contacted these people. I could not get a replacement cork. I tried this jewel rock thing. It didn't work out. And unfortunately, I, I haven't used this mute in a few years. It's very, very good. I mean, I've used it like holding, but it's a pain in the butt, right? So I was playing this mute. Very good mute. So I have an upcoming series of the Ocala Symphony. And uh, what do you know? I was hoping. I was like, man, hopefully there's no... Uh, expensive mutes that I need. I have a Harmon back there. Ooh, I'm actually pointing at it. So that Harmon back there, the cork fell off too. That melted off Florida. Yeah, it's, it's hot here. So, um, we're playing Mason Bates Anthology of Fantastic Zoology, which thankfully only calls for straight mute, at least, um, at the moment, only straight mute. So I don't really have too many passages. I mean, I, the piece starts off with the you know, be flat, and it goes up to one of my least favorite notes, just the high G up there, right, in tenor clef. So, how does this mute play? We're going to try out. So, <clears throat> I initially ordered the, um, the copper bottom, so it has a red bottom. This is more, this is a copper color, except this is kind of beat up, and it's been suntanned by Florida, whatever, but so I ordered from Hickey's the Copper, and they were very nice. Hickey's music is always very good. They emailed me immediately, said we don't, we just sold the last one. Um, but I have this. And I say, why not? You know, I'm not in that fancy of a position in life to really buy the most high end mutes, right? So I was in a pinch, so I I said yes, let's do it, and um. I almost bought a Windy City Harmon mute some years ago and ended up spending like twice the amount of money for the Joe Rao for one piece, right? Typical. So this is going to be my first play test uh, unopened. This came from Hickey's a few days ago. I have not played it. Windy City mute. I guess made in Chicago. So let's see. So initially $59.99 from Hickey's, which is a good price. I think the only cheaper mute they sell is a ProTech for like ten dollars less plus yeah let's try windy city i don't know if they'll they'll restock these meats so i feel like this review should have came years ago but i'm not one to just buy random meats so just opening this live now i know some unboxing videos they do a smell test it smells like a meat to me it actually feels kind of light yeah it feels about the same Look at this. Look at that design. I don't know if this does anything. Ooh, shiny. Anyways, that's not what matters, right? So, first test. Does it fit? <laughs> that was super quick. Okay, so how it looks in the mute, right? Sticks out a bit. Just a little bit of reference. The Wallace. Yeah, see, it doesn't go all the way in. It was kind of, Wallace was kind of like that. So let's give this mute a try. did not feel so good to be honest Ooh, that 
that's very stuffy. I was not expecting that. Let's see. I think I have a. I have. I have another streak in here. I actually have a. Uh, a fiber one, but don't see it. Let's go back to this. I mean, yeah, that's definitely way more open. So there's definitely a weakness there. I mean, one difference with the Wallace Meat that I have. There is a hole on here that lets sound. I don't know if I need to drill a hole. I haven't really seen any reviews for this, but might need a hole. I mean, how often are we going to play in that registry? Probably all the time with today's literature, but... interesting so f about f to d is pretty good but a little bit lower than that definitely gets a little stuffy but besides that it's pretty free-blowing <laughs> I mean, something I do have to, I've noticed I have my tuner on here just to see the intonation. It is playing on the sharp side, which is, I mean, normal. So you, to, you really have to pull out. So I have to definitely mess with that a little bit. Which I think in my music, there's that crescendo G. Oh, it's just from a pianissimo. passage but i mean it plays okay not the worst mute in the world um Be a hole, need a, a hole need to be drilled in them. I'm scared to mess with this, so I don't really have low C's. I think the lowest that I have is like a G. So great. So this to me at this register, mute sounds good. I think it sounds pretty good at a close register. I'm gonna do more testing this weekend, not on camera, but more testing. I'm gonna have somebody listen to me. But at the moment, I would say pretty decent. You know. 60 bucks you could spend a little bit more from the for a tom crown which is tried and proved uh tried and proven so there's that dennis wick i like the wick meat it's just a little bit too sizzly for me but i mean if i was to go back i'd get the drawer out but honestly i mean uh this but honestly the reason i bought this at the time was because the um marcus bone meat's out of stock so would I recommend this in a pinch? At the moment. I'd recommend this in a pinch, but it's all right. It's all right. So Windy City. I'd say 9 out of 10. 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. So not so bad. Thanks for watching.